Hi, it's Legionero back with another video. I would like to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and everyone who keeps coming back each time I post a new video. So today I thought I would show you how I've been making images lately. If you've been here for a while, you know that I love to put dolls in my planner. Um, and I wanted to learn how to draw, but I had to face reality and just tell myself I don't have time to learn how to draw. I really don't. <laughs> um, so when the AI craze popped up, I jumped on the bandwagon, of course, and I've been creating so many images. Some of the images I use prompt guides that I got off of Etsy. Um, and then some of them I just started using my imagination and putting together words of how I wanted the doll to look. Um, so I'll show you a couple that I've done. Um, this one was from a prompt guide. It had like a 70s vibe type prompt guide. So love her and her denim outfit. Um, this is one where I wrote the prompt myself. Um, she's beautiful. Love her. Um, everything down from the vintage cars in the background. I put all of that in the prompt that I wrote. Um, yeah, so just different images. Um, now, sometimes you, you may get something like this where there's three legs. <laughs> so it's not always perfect. Um, but I wanted to show you. Um, love this. Love the 70s vibe. Um, but I wanted to come on, hop on real quick and show you how I make these images. Um, today I'm going to show you um, Bing. And I'm starting out with Bing because Bing is free. However, you cannot sell the images that you make in Bing. Um, but I wanted to show you that in case you're like me and you like to make your own stickers, you may have a Cricut or a Silhouette machine and you just want to have fun and make some images. Um, I want to show you how you can do that for free. But again, Bing, you do not have um, commercial rights on Bing. You can't sell what you create, but you can definitely um, use them in your plan. Um, different things like that. So, all right. So what you can do, you go to bing.com slash create. It's already up here for me, bing.com slash create. And you may come to a different screen first. It may tell you to log in over here. Um, log in, join, and um, I think it says join and create when you first come. Um, but because I have a Microsoft account, my name and everything was already in there. So all I had to do was hit that join and create button and it brought me to this screen. Um, you get 15 credits per day. I've already used one um, or two, uh, but you get 15 credits. Once you run out of the, the 15 credits, you can't make anything else for the day. You have to wait till the next day. Um, so I just click here and I just start typing what I wanna see. Now I have found over this journey that certain words do work well. Um, so that's what I'm going to type. Um, so I'll say an airbrushed digital illustration of a beautiful African American woman with big brown eyes, glasses, uh, long braids, wearing a denim jump suit with chunky sneakers I'll go back here wearing a denim jumpsuit that 
button that buttons down the front with chunky sneakers. I'm gonna put display full body. Um and I'm typing that hoping to get a full body image. It doesn't always happen. Um I'll say full body and entire outfit. She is standing on a busy street holding a cup of coffee. All right. And I can't remember if Bing has a limit. I believe it does. I, I believe it has a, a limit on the amount of words that you can type, but I'm not sure what that limit is. So once you type in what you want to see, or you have a prompt guide, um, you just copy and paste in here. You hit create. And then you'll see that your credits go down one each time you create something. So it's going to um, create what it thinks I want. All right, and here is the images that I that I got. It gave you four. It gives you four images. So I'm just gonna click on one, and it has the prompt over here. So if you want to save the prompt, you just copy and um, copy and paste the prompt, and you hit the arrow when you want to see the next ones. I, their eyes look funny on here, <laughs> but they did. They got the chunky sneakers, right? She's holding her coffee. It's just something about these eyes that I don't like. <laughs> um, but if you see one that you like, um, you will hit download. So I've made a couple today. So here's the other ones that I made. I like her. I think she's cute. So I'll hit download. And it goes to my download folder and I save it wherever I um, save my images. Usually, depending on um, where I make the images, whether it's Bing, Chat, GPT, or MidJourney, I have a folder that's labeled that. So I don't make the mistake of making an image and trying to sell it um, if it's a Bing image. Um, I, I, I put it in a Bing folder. Um, to let myself know I, I can't sell that image. All right. So then what I can do, I can come over here to Canva and I can start to um, make my sticker. So I come over to Can Canva, hit create a design, do custom size, and the image is 1024 by 1024 pixels. Um, you can always just point to the image and, and the um when it gives you the information when you point to the picture it tells you what size it is i can show you that real quick i'm gonna hit create new design um this is what i mean when you point to the picture it tells you what size the dimensions of the picture all right so i'm going to go to uploads Upload files. It's all it's in my download, so I'm just gonna click on it and click open. And it should come here. All right. So once your image is here, you click on it, and then I just go ahead and expand it out. Um, so let's say I just want her, right? So the first thing I'm going to do, make sure I'm clicked on my photo, click edit photo. And I'm going to remove the background, the background remover. Now, I'm not sure what all um, is in the pro. Well, I say that and then if you see a crown by it, that means you have to have the pro version of um, Canva. All right, so I remove the background and let's say I don't want this image right here. I go to Magic Erase. 
and you can increase your burst, burst size or leave it how you want it. And I just come over, brush over the image, making sure I don't brush over the image, any of the image that I want. All right. And now that image is gone, right? So then what I will do, I'm gonna take this down a little bit. I'm gonna change the background to like a gray color, just so I can see the outline, right? And I'm gonna bring her back up, bring her over a little bit. All right, so click on my image edit photo come down to shadows and outline and it put an outline around it i'm going to come down here to the color move it all the way up to make my outline white and i now have a sticker that i could send over to that i could um upload to cricut design space and cricut design space will cut my sticker for me all right, so that is how you can make images for free using Bing. So you go to bing.com slash create. And then you type in your prompt. You hit create. It will create four images for you. Um, once you click on the image and you decide which one you want, if you want all of them, download all of them. <laughs> hit download. Um, you can take the images over to Canva, remove the background. If you have Canva Pro, remove the background and then also add an outline around it. So now I have a sticker. Um, so I would hit share. And then I would hit download. I want it as a PNG because I have Canva Pro. I can hit transparent background. But if you don't have Canva Pro, you can remove this background in Cricut Design Space. You just click on the background, and it removes the background for you. But I will hit Transparent Background, hit Download. Then I can take that image over to Cricut. I can add it to a sticker sheet, and I can add this image to my planner. All right. If you have any questions for me, um, put them down in the comments below. I will answer them to the best of my ability. Um, just want to tell you that disclaimer again. Um, with Bing, you cannot use those images commercially. You can only use those images for personal use. But I love free. <laughs> so, of course, I wanted to show you all a, a free option where you can make beautiful images in your own image and add them to your planner. Uh, and even if you don't have a Cricut or a Silhouette, you can take this image and just cut around. Print it on some sticker paper and cut around the image. All right. So again, if you have any questions for me, put them in the comments. I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post a new video and I will see you in the next one.